All right, welcome. Uh, I want to do a quick little video on how we can use a pretty nifty service known as Excaladraw, which has kind of hopped onto the scene the past uh, past month or two, and has been really nice for making low fidelity mockups very, very quickly. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and press R. That's going to give me a rectangle. And you'll notice that it has these sort of um, cartoonish lines on the outside. It's uh, very low quality. And I like to do that because it keeps me in that mindset of being uh, of a low fidelity product. Now, if I wanted to make it fancier over here on the left, I can click artist, which will give it a little bit nicer edges. And then architect will give it sort of that true rectangle form. But as mentioned, I'm going to keep this on cartoonist. Uh, next up, let's say in this application, we're going to be making a grocery list. So I'm going to need a couple things. I'm going to press T for some text. And now I can go ahead and type um, a grocery item for my label. Awesome. And then I'll press R to create my input. And then I'll do R one more time to create this button right here. And if I double click, I can add some text. And that's going to go ahead and say submit, just like that. I'll go ahead and drag to highlight both and move that up just a little bit for positioning. And once I press L, it'll give me a line. And this is essentially going to be my uh, list field. So my unordered list will be generated here. And if I keep that highlighted and hold option, I can go ahead and create a couple more items uh, just like that. Now I want to go ahead and have some sample data in here. So let's say I'm trying to create tacos and this is going to be lettuce. And maybe I have a couple items already in here. So we have tomatoes, uh, we have tortillas, and then um, toritlas, uh, tortillas. And then maybe as a last item, we have cilantro down at the bottom. Cool. Now this is looking good, but let's say I wanted to also collaborate with another developer. Uh, two ways I can do that. I can go ahead and on the left hand side, click save. And that will give me a um, Excaladraw file that I can thereby send to them. And then they can also import it with this load button. Or even better, uh, there's a new feature where I can go ahead and collaborate by clicking on the people icon and start a new session. Now I have another browser open, so I'm going to be in Firefox for this next part. So I'm going to copy this link, paste this into Firefox. And uh, that session is going to go ahead and populate. So once the connection is established, uh, as you can see, I'm in Firefox right now, uh, and it's represented by this dot. This is the other user who would have the shared link. So what I'm going to do is say, you know what, these are pretty cool, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and move them over. Again, I'm doing this in a different browser. And we'll go ahead and add uh, some circles on the other part. And this is going to be with the letter E. So I'll have a circle here. And maybe inside of that, I'll just have an X. So these are going to be my remove icons. Awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this. So I'm going to highlight both of them in once again in my other browser and then have it just like that. So once I'm all done, we can go ahead and share. We can throw it away. Uh, it does have some pretty nice options regarding color and how you want to fill your items. All right. There you have it. This is Excaladraw over at Excaladraw.com. Quick little recap is that if you press R, it will give you a rectangle and then you can do E for any ellipse. But if you hold down the shift key, that'll give you a true circle that you can work with. And you can always duplicate these by pressing the option key and it'll give you as many items as you like. Once again, it has live collaboration features as well as saving and loading different files. The other cool benefit is that this is persisted within local storage. So if you refresh the page just like this, you notice that it is all there. Super nice. Hope you enjoy it and I'll catch you next time.